Hey, Yuri. I tracked the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in Chinatown. If we go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die, too? Not unless I have to. Look, this cult needs to be stopped. You want to come along, it'd make things easier. But I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. Did she go inside? Nope. How is this going to work? Just team up like normal, or...? How long you been tracking these guys? A few weeks. Heard rumors for a while. They leave bodies in their wake. They care a lot about the Crimson Hour, whatever that is. The hot new club in Hell's Kitchen? Wow, that just popped out there, huh? Who says stuff like that? Not me. That'll do. When we find their boss, how will we know it's their boss? Something tells me these people aren't fans of subtlety. Let's look around. The guy I rescued who tried to leave the cult. If he's smart, he's left the state by now. I don't think they've been here for long. Maybe a month at best. Up here. Take out the cultists and keep moving? Sounds good. So, it's been, what, a year and a half since... How have you been? You don't have to do this small talk. I'm doing my job. The Fool's Beacon. How can you be sure it's Spider-Man? Because the flame is sure. Has he ever been wrong? If you're entertaining second thoughts, I suggest you burn them now. All we ask is... It's not small talk for me. I was worried about you. I'm fine. I was angry before and sloppy. But I'm better now. Steady. Hey, everything okay? of their boss yet. Let's keep going. Uh, it's locked. And I bet forcing it will trigger an alarm. Doesn't look like it takes keys. Must be a way to unlock it around here. Seems like new recruits are always paired up when they join. Good way to keep an eye on everyone. Is this supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing? How does any of that look good? Looks like the cult uses tattoos to show off their ranks. And they're always paired up when they join. Wait, I've got an idea. You want to share with the class? Just watch. That's it. The door only opens when it sees the correct pair of tattoos. I've got mine. You see anyone with a Hephaestus tattoo? Please, please don't wake up. And not the tattoo I'm looking for. Great. There we go. Second time's the charm. Ugh. So, you got any tattoos? Just the one of Spider Cop's gravestone. Really? you run away again, he won't be so forgiving. Trust the flame, for everything burns. For everything burns.
You hear that somewhere before? <clears throat> nice form. Let's check on the prisoners. We'll get you out of here. The door controls are in the next room. Hurry! How many followers are in the building? I... I don't know. A lot. We'll find a way to get you out. If the flame lets you. We're gonna get you out of here as soon as we can. Please. I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, you okay in there? Hello? We're here to help. Don't be so loud. So the controls are in the next room. If they're the followers of the flame, is that the flame holding court down there? I don't think so. He is still worthy. Let all doubt be washed away as we celebrate this. You doing okay? Spider-Man, what the heck? Let's hope there's more here than that screensaver! See the door controls anywhere? I'm not sure. Wiring for the cells leads right here. Come on! We really need to stop meeting like this, Yuri. People will think you're trying to kill me. Never thought you'd be able to trick anyone into joining one of your little clubs again. Love is not a trick. None of this is love. I extended my hand when nobody else would. I doubt you, nor the fool's beacon there, would have done the same. But what would it take for you to love me? Tell me where you're hiding and I'll show you. The old hospital north of Astoria. Stop by any time. If you're both worthy. You knew who the flame was this whole time? You know, I had my suspicion. I wasn't sure until I saw him. How do you two know each other? You had another group like this when I was a cop. You shut them down. He got away! <laughs> the flame's not even here. We have to go after him. After we help the prisoners get out. Oh! Hey! What are you doing, Spider-Man? Trust the flame! Everything burns! Let's get upstairs. There's more followers. You want to handle the door? Why not? Someone there? The flames need you, Okay, first things first. How does he know who you are? Yeah, my boy. When I was chasing him as a cop, he enjoyed it. Learned who I was so he could always come to how I faced What else do you know about him? Before, when they got close to capturing him, he spoke out of fiery tongue. He killed them so nobody would die. And they let him. He's a monster. The foolish are coming here. So this is the first time you've seen him since he got away? I tried to track him down for months, but other cases got in the way. I knew he was around. Followers of the flame. Are they like his old group? The old group was small. Caution. These people, I don't know what's bigger. Their numbers or their confidence. I'm locked up. Now let's get those folks out of here.
Shouldn't take us long to get to the hospital. Yuri! This is the most obvious trap I've ever seen! And I fought Trapster. We can't wait on this one. You don't know him. I do know that we can't help anyone if we rush in there and get killed. We need a plan. I'll scout out this hospital base of his and make sure everything's safe. Happy? That's one word for it, sure. Another word would be slightly less stressed. My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness, the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure old glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. coming in from Brooklyn are to be believed. These Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars disappearing off the tracks, fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newer Spider-Man at the center. Webbing and property damage weren't enough. Now we add mystical arts into the mix. Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul, groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it, it seems Spider-Man was cohorting with notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt cloth. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider-Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider-Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider-Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. Danny Cat's clan, let's talk about Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders. Many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've got to be honest, folks. This is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. Here's hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. <sighs> Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks forever. Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either. But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged. 
behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People, do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. <laughs>